That way in the hole nice and flat. to locate uh, the upper link mount. Go under your plastic parts bag right where the axle housing pieces come off. You'll find that. And you're going to see a little piece up on the top here that can actually get cut off or broke off. That's not needed. Remove that from the tree. And we'll locate the other screws here. Okay, take the upper link mount. I'm going to line that right up with the two upper holes in the axle housing. And take your two longer bolts going from the back, or actually that would be the face of it. Those screw right in through and to that upper link mount. Set that one up. Take the other one in. Also need to locate then one of the ball pivots. And I see they missed putting that into the parts list there, so we have to locate one of those. I don't know if they did metal ones in this kit or not. They did offer metal and plastic before. We just need to figure out what the plan was for these. I'm thinking, looks like we're going to be plastic. So, one of the plastic parts trees has our little ball. Pieces on it. We're going to take some of these plastic parts out of the bag here so we can find where our ball pivots are. I think we're getting warmer here. It's probably going to be the last piece I pull out of the bag. In here, you'll notice that this goes in from this side. We'll just take our pliers there we are. and we'll carefully snap that in there. Okay, that's in place. We are done with step th steps one, two, and three. We're going to actually move on to step number four, which is going to be putting on the C-Hub. Uh, you can actually get upgraded, an upgraded part for this if you choose to later on down the line. Uh, the stock ones are plastic. Actually hold up pretty good. Uh, basically take each one of those, hold your axle 
you'll notice that it's got just a slight bit of a up angle. Your C hubs you want basically straight up and down with pretty much just like that. You want this straight up and down, you want your pinion angle up. That's the correct way. You don't want this tipped forward, which would basically consist of, we'll see if we can do it here. That's wrong. That's not the right way. You want it so it looks like that. Probably have to show you a little closer here. Pinion angle up, straight up and down. Okay, we'll pop on the other side here. Pinion angle up, straight up and down. Okay, we gotta locate four screws to hold that into place. And they are actually in our bag that we had dumped out earlier. Of four of we actually have eight of these in that bag that you dumped out for the first three steps. Take those. Phillips screwdriver. Screw those in. Oops. That's what happens when you drink a pot of coffee in the morning before you start to do a build. screwed in just like so. The other one here. Don't over tighten it because you will strip them out. Your 